Hello, I'm Nick. In this video, I want to show you how to use Midjourney to generate UI design. Midjourney works really well for generating different types of imagery, but let's see what kind of results we can get for UI design. The first thing that I want to show you is my prompt template. Here is my prompt. White text is mandatory part. Orange text, optional sections. You can skip them if you want. Blue text, Midjourney system keywords. Let's quickly go over what those system keywords mean. First, aspect ratio. I typically use 16 by 9 or 4 by 5. The first one works best for web and the second one for mobile design. Next is a version. Based on my experience, Midjourney version 6 tends to generate flatter imagery, while version 7 creates more isometric style visuals. Next, style. When I use style raw, I typically get sharper, cleaner UI details without overly artistic blur. Now a couple of quick tips on how to optimize your prompts. If you want to generate UI design and not artwork, avoid keywords associated with art, such as beautiful, fantasy, render, or painting. Instead, use keywords like interface, layout, component, or figma. Here is an example of good and bad prompts for your reference. Second, anchor your prompt with the design system. Add in a design system name like Apple Human Interface Guideline, Material, Carbon, drastically improves the structure and quality of your design output. Now, let's look at some real examples. Let's start with the web page for SaaS product. In my prompt, I explicitly mention visual attributes, such as subtle gradients, blend of neomorphism and glossomorphism, as well as specific color palette. Midjourney generates four different images per prompt. And if you zoom in, you will notice that all of them have an issue with text. It's not English, but gibberish. But the overall layout design is quite interesting. And despite the defects, I think the last example looked decent. Next, let's try a mobile design. This time, I want to have a more dramatic look. Dark mode, vibrant accent colors, and data visualization as a main content. Here is the result. As I mentioned earlier, Midjourney 7 tends to generate isometric style layout for UI design. This looks like something you can find on Dribbble or Behance. Great for exploring color combinations and visual hierarchy. Now, let's add a design system name. IBM Carbon. If you're familiar with this design system, you will recognize some design decisions. Let's get a bit crazy and explore aesthetics. I'm not a big fan of liquid glass, but I want to see how 3D buttons with heavy shadows might look like in UI design. For that reason, I will generate a neomorphic UI. And Midjourney generates a quite interesting and unusual collection of UI samples. Finally, let's create a Figma component. I will mention the material design system and include Figma keyword. It seems Midjourney applies material colors and arranges button in a grid, but ignores some keywords such as secondary or ghost style. And that concludes my experiment. Does it mean Midjourney can replace other AI tools we use for UI generation, such as Figma Make? Absolutely not. As you just saw, the output still has many design issues, from gibberish text to odd layout decisions. But I do think this tool has a potential as a creative partner during the early stages of product design process. It can replace platforms like Dribble or Behance for mood boarding and visual exploration. And if you have your own tips and tricks for using Midjourney in UI design, please share them in the comments. Thank you for watching.